Hello everyone, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to talk about inverters, specifically pure sine wave inverters. As everyone knows, Shoestring likes to do things on a shoestring, which means not very expensive. Pure sine wave, though, inverters are extremely expensive, much more than a modified. Modified sine wave works for most things. Some items, though, like medical equipment, actually takes a pure sine wave to work well. This is an interesting one, though. This is a refurbished one I purchased. Refurbished, of course, means that it's been taken apart and put back together because something was wrong with it. This is from Ames Power. It's a pure sine wave, 12 volt. This is the first time I've taken this apart and tried to use it. So we're going to see what happens. I'm going to take the knobs off. I always like to do this when I do these videos. Because sometimes people have problems with them. And if I run into a problem, you folks get to see it first. And we can solve it. And make sure these work. Take the black clamp. Black clamp. Red clamp. Take the black clamp. I always hook the black clamp on first. Most of these inverters work the same way. Unless you have a large one. I have an 8,000 watt inverter I have wired to my house. That's, of course, done a little differently. If anyone would like to see video on that, just say so, and I'll show it to you. Let me get it in there really nice and tight. All right, connect it. Black to black. And red to red. Make sure they're on there tight. Okay, so in the back you can see it's connected. All we have back here now is the fan, the front, power switch, USB, and one electrical plug-in. Okay, like I said, this is an inexpensive one. Uh, I don't have many pure sine waves. They're just too, really too expensive for me. So now we're going to test it, which means we have to connect it to the battery. 12 volt, 35 amp hour battery. You've seen me talk about these before. This one is from Harbor Freight. It is an AGM battery which means it can be used on the inside of the house. doesn't need to be vented, which is important when you're doing medical equipment. We're going to talk about CPAC machines later, but you know they're for people sleeping, so it has to be done in the house. Start with a fully charged battery. Take out the handy-dandy multimeter, and of course, as usual, black to black, and red to red, and we get... 13.3, 13.3, so this is fully charged, ready to go. We take the black and we connect it to the black on the post. <clears throat> take the red, connect it to the red on the post. Then we test it. Turn it on, and the light comes on. Hopefully everyone saw that. So. The inverter does, in fact, work. Well, it works enough to come on. Oh, if anyone's asking, I got it for $74.19, free shipping. We're still going to test this with a machine I have. CPAP, of course, a lot of people these days use for breathing. CPAP machines are medical devices, and they normally need a pure sine wave, one of the few things that do. So we're going to get the CPAP machine out here, and we're going to set it all up and see how that works. I have taken out a standard CPAP machine. This is a ResMed. It's pretty standard for a CPAP machine. Most of these, you can look on them, and they'll show you and tell you how many watts they will take. This one here says it will take... 90 watts. 90 watts. This is, of course, a 300-watt sine wave, 
So it should be no problem. But we are going to go ahead and test it. All right, so we connect the CPAP machine to the inverter, which is still connected to the battery. Remember, that's how this works. We charge up the battery. Battery actually stores the power. Connected to an inverter that turns it into electrical power we can use. So we plug that in just like we would if we were at home plugging it into a receptacle in your house. Turn it on. And let's see what happens. Okay. It starts to come on. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, please wait as it's warming up. See if you can get to see that a little closer. It's warming up and starting. It says how much pressure and it is running right now. So it is running very, very smooth off this inverter. Next part of the test that I'm going to do, you won't be able to see, unfortunately. I am going to take the mask and I'm going to put it on and test it. Because I have done this before with modified sine waves. And as you breathe in and out, they have a tendency to cause the mask and the machine to collapse. So give me a moment. Let me test this for you. You won't be able to see it, but you can still hear me, hopefully. I am breathing through the mask now several times. So I have, I was breathing through the mask. I did it just fine. It did not collapse. Everything worked the way it was supposed to work. Lights back on. You can see it's still running. It says what the report is. And this is working just fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to not have you wait. I'm going to speed this up. And I'm going to run a test to see how long this 12 volt 35 amp hour battery with this sine wave, pure sine wave, will actually run this to see if it will run the CPAP machine at least eight hours. So it could do one night's sleep before recharging. So folks, I'll make a separate video that will do how long it lasts. So if you like these videos, remember, please say that something in the comments and share and subscribe. Shoestring out.